hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm playing this game. Yo, yo, yeah, we're playing Madden 21, Tennessee Titans versus us. Dude, it's the old the Oilers Houston versus the new Oilers. Oilers. Oh. It's the battle of the names, dude. Is it? Yeah, dude. Who's got the best team name in the NFL? Who do you think has the best team name? Who do you like? That's a good name. I'm trying to think, dude. Who would be the... I like the Vikings, dude. You do like the Vikings, really? Yeah, dude. I like that. I'm kind of a fan of the Buccaneers. Yeah, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like the Buccaneers because you could shorten that to the Bucks. I, I'm more apt to know who I hate. The Dolphins, dude. I don't oh. want to. I don't want to fight the Dolphins. Uh, you the don't Steelers, be a Dolphin? dude. I don't want to fight them no, either. And the Browns. I like that, dude. <laughs> it's like, hi, we're a color, but it's really a person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, oh, hey, we're the Browns, but it's not because we're the color brown. It's because it's Paul Brown, dude. You're like, Jim, whoa, dude. Jim Brown, I thought. No. It was Paul Brown, the guy who. Paul Brown and Jim Brown, then. You know, it's odd note. Paul Brown founded the Cleveland Browns. He also founded the Cincinnati Bengals. Both Ohio teams he founded. Bengals is a pretty good team. Good yeah, name dude, for a team. They didn't want to call them the Tigers because they were like, oh, you're just going to be like Detroit? Mm, that's the Lions. But in baseball, it's the Tigers. See, and I'm, I'm done with teams that are just animals. I think we already had this conversation yeah, oh yeah, once. We're, it was, it's veering towards that again. Yeah, dude. You, I mean, what, we, it doesn't help that like all the team names are animals for the most part. Yeah. I do like the 49ers because it's like gold diggers, dude. Yeah, dude. Go find some gold. 49ers is pretty good. I like gold diggers, prospectors. Yeah, dude. It's a, it's a wow. I didn't, she hear me, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. I ain't saying she's a gold dude. Uh, he released his first uh... <laughs> campaign video. <laughs> oh, dude, is that still happening? No, uh, I mean he's selling merch like it is. Oh well, yeah, dude, they ain't gonna make money. Dude, if I could make shirts that said Jonas 2020 and people would buy them, I would absolutely do it. I think I, think I should run for president. What, what do you was think? That thing? You Cody could. 2012 wasn't that like a thing? That was not a presidential. <laughs> oh no, I know it wasn't a presidential thing, but that was like a Coney Coney 2012. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, that was about like the abduction of children. Yeah, and being awful. forced to do like war crimes. <laughs> Terrible. But yeah, you should run for president, dude. Maybe, maybe, Jonas. If me and you ran against each other, we were on the same ticket. I'd be your vice president. Wait, what? <laughs> I'd be your vice president, dude. I would be all right with that. No, Oprah would be my vice president. Thank oh, you. God. I'm sorry, Jonas. Fine, dude. I don't want to. I don't want to lead the world with you. To anyway. All right, fine. It's me and you on the ticket. Fine. We're no, gonna dude, lose. You and Oprah, me and you against each other. That's, what, that's, no. where, that's where the story was going. <laughs> my running mate can be. Uh, my running mate will be Tom uh, Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, D'Lo no. Brown. D'Lo Brown. That's my running mate. All right, so what's your... Vince what's your, McMahon is my running mate. Right, so they're even better. So you're a Republican. Good. <laughs> right? So you're a Republican. Good. That's good to know. Um, So what, what's your what's your stance on uh, the status quo? The, uh, the strive of the proletariat. I'm good. What, uh, how, about, how do you feel about public transportation? And how can we make that better for this country? We're having our first debate right now, John. Oh, are we? I didn't know if you knew this. Oh, dude. I'm not We're debating good at that. now. I'm so glad this guy's doing well. <laughs> By this guy, do you mean yourself? Yes. Look I'm at referring this. myself in the third person. I do that all the time. Yeah, dude. I, uh, what, what would, uh, <laughs> why do you want to run for president now? Why do I want to run for? Oh, that's a good question, Jonas. Why do I want to run for president? I don't know, because I feel like I have the American people's uh, best interest in mind. And, like, that saying that without, like, any preconceived, like, lobbyist just... Oh, give me that effing ball, friend! Get it! Any lobbyist, like, affecting my uh, my ideals. So, uh, you know, like... Oh, yeah, then you'd be murdered because you weren't playing ball. Is that how they do it? They assassinate you? No, you'd fall out, you'd fall out of a window, like in Russia. Oh, yep, there goes TNT. He just fell out of a window. <laughs> this is not Russia. Jonas, what's, it, what's the difference between assassination and murder? I don't get it. 
Can somebody assassin? Can I be assassinated? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Or would I just be murdered? Or for me, it'd probably just be homicide. Um, I think the difference between I think usually like an assassination is a plot that involves many people. Usually, if someone's gonna kill the president or or somebody like that, or it's not just like some dude who's like, I'm gonna go up here and do it to do to do. There's usually like, you kind of gotta like. The, 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 people that get assassinated aren't necessarily easy to get access to, so it would take numerous, like... I'm, I'm pretty hard to get access to. You'd have to come in the apartment. I mean, the compound. They'd have to get close to me. They'd be like, hey, Jonas, why don't you let me in? I'm like, oh, yeah, dude. I just gotta go. They're like, I'm like, I'm just going to go pee real quick. Next thing I know, like, all of a sudden, your door's kicked in. There's blood everywhere, and they're, they're gone, dude. I'm, they seduce me with their eyes, and I'm like, oh, ish, dude. Just had my friend killed. I mean, Jonas, it could happen, man. I'm I just agree. saying is that I... It absolutely could happen. I've definitely diddled enough dudes' wives where... <laughs> wow. <laughs> diddled dudes' wives. What about uh, diddled, diddled wives' wives? Diddled dudes' girlfriends. You shouldn't diddle dudes' dudes. I shouldn't diddle any dudes' anything? I mean, if you don't know, then you can't blame you. You know what I mean? No, if you no. know, then I mean, like, I'm if somebody shoots you, I mean, like... <laughs> Some, you gotta be like, damn. Some sucks. Sometimes you gotta diddle, you know. That's all I do. Uh, one man's diddle is another man's fiddle. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm confused. Interpret it any way you like. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking that when they call it, like when I when I think of diddling, I think of just like you know over the clothes kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, like some uh, like second base. Yeah, like you know, you're getting it in the park. You're keeping it in the park, I should say. But you know, yeah, it's, it's still it's still like a grounder. You know, you could easily get out for that. Did you ever like when you were younger date a girl who's like, no, we're not going past second base, or like because I've never had anyone no. like refer to it as that ever. <laughs> no, me neither, dude. <laughs> I've had girls tell me that they refuse to have uh, any, like, uh, what do you call that, physical physical coverage until, like, six months into the relationship. Wait, wait, they don't want to have any sort of physical interaction until six months in? Yeah. Like, I mean, not even, like, kissing or grabbing a boob or anything? Like, putting your finger inside their vagina? Kissing may be okay, but none of that, none of that touching. Nothing under the clothes for six months. <laughs> Why are you, you mad? You literally had that really happen? I've had girls tell me that that's the way they live their lives. Don't don't be mad at I'm me. I'm not mad at all. I'm just like, who says that to somebody though? I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm all like, I've never been one to like, like, like if I start seeing someone, like, I don't care that I, how quick I get into their uh, physical a lot of atmosphere. Are. A lot of people are though. But like, but like, I've never like set a limit. Like, you know, I must wait six months. Or oh whatever. yeah, I've, man. I've just been like, dude, when it happens, it happens. But I'm not in any sort of damn hurry. You know what I mean? Like, see, the thing is, is that when somebody says something like that, you can just be like, oh, who hurt you? <laughs> Somebody hurt you. <laughs> Right, exactly. Because you like, got you gave boundaries. It up too quick, and then they like left, and then you're like, no, no badusi for anybody. Whoa, Jonas. Until <laughs> until the badusi farm Jonas. feels good. I need you to calm it down a second here. Nah, dude, I'm just, I'm just. I'm just I don't even know what that word means. Could you clear to explain your slang? It reminds. It sounds very similar to another word. It, oh, look dude. at this running boy. Dude, he stole your balls. Dude, why you gotta steal my balls, friend? Right out of your hands. Yeah, he's a cut. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that is. I mean, that's anyone who has any sort of like super rigid rules like that. Mm -hmm. You feel like there's there's some sort of like previous trauma oh, yeah, that they've experienced. The only reason we put up barriers is because of past trauma, Jonas. Don't get me started on my psychology stuff. I love psychology. When I was in college, Jonas, in psychology class. Yeah, did you win? I was the number one student. This is, this is, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's a lie. I was number two. There was one freaking prodigy. There's always a freaking prodigy in whatever class you have, dude. Yeah. Where, like, hard work just can't surpass them because they're, you know what? No, f forget that, Jonas. You can surpass that. But I was, like, number one student, and then we had, like, uh, we would play a game where we would do, like, 
I don't know. It has something to do with like the homework or whatever, but it'd be like a pop quiz on like the reading or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I had a team of guys. There was three of us, and I had the prodigy on my team. <laughs> so we ended, Heck yeah, we, we, ended, we ended up winning like the entire year, and we got our picture put on the wall. And then when he called our group down, I was such a nerd, dude. I had queued up the. Uh, we are the champions by Queen. No. <laughs> I queued up the uh, the march from uh, Star Trek. Star Wars. Star oh, Wars. Okay. So it was the Imperial March. It was like, da, 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 da. And we went up like nerds, dude. <laughs> I had my hands up like, are you not entertained? I mean, you were entertained. Dude, I'm, I've always been a class clown, Jonas, but never like. Well, I don't know. There's been times where I've been disruptive, but. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, you gotta. It's always the Spanish teacher that gets it, man. She hated me. They're not. They're usually not down for jokes, dude. I had some very serious. <laughs> Why is it the Spanish teacher is never? I down think it's for because jokes. they already got to put up with a lot of like B BS. Oh, that's that was the worst throw I've ever seen. They just got to put up with so much ish, dude. Of everyone being like, what's Bicho mean, dude? Cojones. <laughs> Like everyone's just everyone's Yo. just being like everyone's just being all coy and stupid. Is it like, really harder? To oh teach? my Jesus! What is happening? I don't know, man. You're messing it up here. Me, I'm winning. Oh, well, then you're winning. <laughs> we need, is it really harder to teach somebody like a kid a different language than like science, phylum versus genus? Yeah, I don't dude, know. I don't know uh, what their genius is, dude. <laughs> That's genius. You know, yeah, that's dude. A, all right, that's fine. Uh, like, I, I don't know. Like, my hardest class was history class because I was just like, who cares about this stuff? <laughs> this happened like a long. I wasn't even born when this stuff like, happened. What do I care about how we got here? I'm here today. Yeah. And, like, honestly, Jonas, how much history class knowledge has come into play in your everyday life? Dude, I like history. Yeah, but you don't watch the history channel. <laughs> Is that, is that a part? So yeah, it kind of is. If you're one of them, I gotta watch like history documentaries. Yeah, you you know you know that you have at least one person in your life or your family who is like, that. Did you guys see the uh, colorized World War II footage, dude? It was amazing. Like, who's that, that history guy who watches the History Channel? They play games about historic ships and stuff like that. You don't know that guy? I can't do that guy. I, go, I, I just don't never. care about anything that much. <laughs> I, I mean, I just don't. <laughs> I just, I mean, like, if I cared, <laughs> I just don't, ah, you flippin' hooker. Yeah, dude, I just don't care about anything. <laughs> I'm completely dead inside and have no thoughts wow. and cares about anything. Jeez, Jones, you want to talk? No, dude, I'm who, all right. Who hurt you? <laughs> History. <laughs> History hurt me, dude. Yeah, man, you and me both, buddy. But, uh, yeah, dude, so I, I do know a guy who's that history guy, and he watches the History Channel, and he'll just put it on and just learn about, like... Oh, yeah? Do I know this guy? Nazi superstructures and stuff. And I... I, I like, why? Do I, I don't get it. No, you don't know him. I just wondered if it was somebody we knew, dude. No. I mean, I know other people who are like that. I want to say my dad was like that. I believe he was into that stuff. Maybe that's why I have a preconceived preconserved notion about history in general wow jones i'm getting down to like my psychology yeah, now dude, we're having a therapy session All tell right. me tell me about your love for history and where it came from so he used to make me stand with whipped cream on my head <laughs> while he watched the history channel do you think that could have any traumatic long-lasting effects uh maybe my own guy just tackled me did you see me run into him and him jump in the air and fall down i think that was you know like Incidental contact. But why would you fly into the air like that? <laughs> I don't. Th it's not like he grabbed you around the waist and took you down and like did a, a dance afterwards. Get oh, give me that ball, friend! Touchdown, hookers. <laughs> we're not the hookers. We're Houston, Jonas. Ah, there's enough hookers. In and Houston. we don't call them hookers, Jonas. Jeez. Ladies of the night. No. That's human trafficking, Jonas. Are you comfortable with human trafficking? Not if they're doing it by choice. That's not human what trafficking. What are you talking about? Ladies who solicit their vagina for money oh by choice. Oh my god, you're off the rails. <laughs> Why am I off the rails? I don't know. You're off the rails. You're asking a question. I'm answering it. Now all of a sudden, I'm off the rails. You are. You're off the freaking rails right now. 
Dude, I'm trying to talk about people selling their parts for money. Do we have children? Would you sell your parts for money? Who watch this like to, just to give it away? I would sell my hair to like somebody or if like somebody needed a toe or something. Somebody needed a tiny toe. Hey, look, if you're out there right now and you need a baby toe, I got you. <laughs> little, little baby toe, little yeah. toenail? Yeah, you need a baby toe to help you feel complete. If you want to take my toe and shrink it and wear it in a <coughs> necklace around your neck, truck him over! Um, yeah, dude. I'll take it. Yeah, I heard that like 5,000 people like uh, went to some hospital to see if some kid needed a kidney or something or some woman or something. Damn, dude. That's very generous of the human race. Would you give your kidney to somebody? Depends who it was. Does it There's depend who it was? Stipulatory kidney giving. I'm not just going to give it to like some a-hole who's just going to like ruin it anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> if somebody needs a kidney, I'm sure the last thing on their mind is let me fudge this guy's kidney completely up. I know. That's why. I can't wait to get this kidney so I can just like punch it every day when <laughs> I get have somebody hit it. <laughs> punch me in the kidney, dude. <laughs> Some other guys. So I can drink more and filter it better, dude. <laughs> it's not even my kidney. I don't care. I'll shoot myself in the kidney. Can you give a piece of your liver and it'll suffice? I'm sorry, what? Like, I, I, thought, I thought, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I thought that, like, uh, you could... You can give someone like a chunk of your liver and it will function as a liver. Not fully, obviously, but you can live with a partial liver. So uh, they like splice it and like. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's possible. I'm not really sure on that. Because the liver isn't like a. It isn't like. You can't like give part of your heart to somebody, but the liver is, no. a, is a different sort of organ, I believe. Yeah, it's definitely a different sort of organ. I don't recall like the exact type. Than anything. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough to validate that statement. Or not, I so. have never wanted to eat a cow liver because I Ugh. feel like, like, why do you want to eat the thing that filters all the toxins in their body? Have you ever had liver? I have. It's gross. It's dry. It's so dry, it's dude. It's not even the dryness, though. It's not the flavor that gets you. It's, it's just weird. It looks all wet and juicy, and then you bite into it, and it's like you're eating a brick of sand. Why? <laughs> but what about the flavor? I don't remember the flavor. All I it's remember is... The it tastes like you just like lick butt. It tastes like licked butt. Wow. It tastes like butt. Tastes like butt. Like yes. licked butt. Like butt. That's a business. Like, lick. hey, if at home right now, take your finger, put it in your butt, take it out, put it in your mouth, liver. Aw, oh, dude. What? There's kids who watch this. Don't you even start with me. I'm telling kids to do things. I'm not telling them to do that. I'm saying is that's how you taste liver. Taste that liver. We gave this dude five TDs because he needed four. That's not to say that you shouldn't give it a try, though. Because, I, I mean, how would I, mean, I know? I, honestly, I might eat it now and think it's okay. I'm, you know, honestly, when, when you're tasting, when you get older, your taste buds change. Yeah, dude, so I like a possible. ton of stuff that I hated as a kid, and I don't eat a ton of stuff I ate when I was younger. Because, well, it's just that. It's the whole, like, giving up the... Wait, wait. You fumbled, dude. Wait, he you just fumbled. all of a sudden the ball teleported out of it. No, it didn't teleport. Yeah, it, dude. it fell um, right out. <clears throat> um, you know, it's like, you know, like my, I think your natural flavor profile goes from like, I like sweet stuff to I like salty and savory type stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I got out of sweet stuff at an early age, though. Funny enough. Like, I still like, like, if you bake a cake, I'm eating that, all right? <laughs> I'm yeah. going to eat that, but I don't like candy. Well, see, I don't crave it, but if it's in the house, I will smash the ish out of it, dude. Yeah, if, there's a, if there's, like, a 28 cookies on the counter in there, I'll eat 28 cookies. But if there's no cookies for a whole year in the house, I'd be like, oh, dude, I forgot what cookies are. Like, I wouldn't even, like, yeah. care. But, like, tell me I can't have, like, some salty, some like, some chips or some, like, wings or something for a whole year. I'd be like... Lost your GD mind. <laughs> Let's take that to the definitely, store. Definitely crave that kind of stuff, I guess, to a certain extent. Yeah. I don't really have, like, cravings where I really want this. Maybe I just don't He let looks them. like he let his sister cut his hair. <laughs> he's got that corona cut. She, he's got the corona cut. That is, that's how it's in the game, dude. EA Sports, it's in the oh, game. Oh, yeah, corona 2020. Cut. Corona cuts for everybody. Yeah, but... Yeah, dude, that uh, 63 to 20, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, he does Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day. Every single day. At 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. If you get on and he's not there, he's still there. You just can't see him. 
T N T D I N O M I G H T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Heck yeah, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are. Uh,